Hey everybody, it's your girl Coca Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. So for this particular deck, we are looking at the Oracle of Hidden Worlds by Lucy Cavendish. Now, I get into different moods when it comes to um, my own personal divination and um, if there are any client requests. Um, so when I am doing light work, uh, light worker things and I am uh, doing star seed uh, activation and different things of the such, I will pull out this deck amongst others um, to do divination. Um, this deck works one of two ways for me. Um, I usually read them either intuitively or I will absolutely use the book simply because this deck goes pretty deep. This particular deck has layers and depth to it. And you'll see what I mean when I pull out the guidebook and the cards. Um, I will use certain cards and sleep with it under my pillow to kind of activate the energy within them. There's all different kind of ways that you can use this particular deck. So let's just go ahead and dive in. It is a two-part box, which you guys know is my favorite. Very sturdy, very durable, travel friendly. And we're going to pull out the book here. The book is very basic. Um, you have your table of contents. You have your introduction. It's not in color, unfortunately. But the font, the font is okay. I can typically read this without my glasses. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it talks about the different realms, the different worlds it covers, um, and then, of course, how to use the book, how to journal with it, different spreads, right? And then, of course, the good old Celtic cross. And then we go, of course, into the card meanings. So, black and white picture, very simple um explanations however the way that you read the cards the way that the cards resonate with you it's very easy to receive multiple downloads when it comes to these cards um it gives you like keywords under the main name of the card and then it goes into the breakdown and gives you like an illumination, uh, pretty much an affirmation. So like the healing temple, it says, I now accept the powerful healing being offered. Simple affirmations, but still very powerful. Um, I feel like these cards, these cards, like I said, go deep. Like you can really sit with the imagery. You can really sit with the meanings of these cards and really tap into, like I said, that star seed energy, um, light worker energy, it's, uh, they're very otherworldly. I like them. These are in no particular order because, of course, they've been shuffled and used. But just some of the imagery. Some are landscapes. Some are, you know, north, south, east, west, however you guys want to put it. But the imagery is very, I don't know, I like them. I see a lot. I see beyond what the pictures are when it comes to this particular deck. And you guys definitely let me know how you feel about this deck in the comments. If there's anything that stood out to you, if you have any questions. The Relics of Lemuria. Lemuria. I have the worst time saying that and it's terrible guys don't judge me <laughs> there have been many many times where I've taken one of these cards to clarify a spread that I've done for myself and I'll uh, this has been one of the cards that I've used and I'll sit with this energy and just kind of look at the card and see if there's anything that really pops out to me see if there's anything intuitively that I feel from these cards 
And then I'll place this card under my pillow and go to sleep to see what download spirit has for me. These cards are very much, um, again, if you're into angel work, light working, you know, being a light worker, um, starseed activation, all of that good stuff. I recommend this deck. Um, I feel like it's a good deck to have when it comes to that. <laughs> Even if it comes down to any ritual work that you may do, you can incorporate these cards into that as well. If you do uh, Lightworker Divination, these are good cards to use. The Light Dancer card. I love this card. Plus it's a six card, so the balance of the light within the darkness, like there's so much that you can pull from these cards. I absolutely love them. Plus they're just beautiful to look at. So let me know how you guys feel about this particular deck. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you feel like they're not necessarily something that you would get? Um, I live for you guys' comments. I appreciate them so much. Um, like, subscribe for more fun deck reviews, more fun stuff. Uh, if you'd like to book a reading, you can always hit me up at Coco Kitten Bruja on Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can always go to my website. That's CocoKittenBruja.com. For any um, resin pieces, spiritual or non, you can go to PrismByCKB.com. Um, and as always, as always, you guys, go within, look at yourself. What can you do to make tomorrow better than today? Just my little bit of wisdom for you guys. All right, until next time, peace.